Um, today we're going to be looking into um, installation of plugins. Plugins that will be necessary for us. Plugin that will give us um, what the kind of effect we need of probably, would I say, the plugins that will help your browser be in such a condition that, you know, when you are looking up for things in Amazon, you get a different feel, you get a different result from just every other person that just visits Amazon on a regular day. Now, what these plugins does for you is it helps you to analyze things. It helps you to understand um, how the market is in Amazon. And it helps you also to make better decisions because it reviews some certain things for you, things that um, your competitors are doing, their rankings, how well their books are selling, and all those information. Now, these are what this plugin does for you. Now, with this plugin, now you can actually make better decisions. You can actually make better analysis. You can actually make, um, you know, see things better off. Then, uh, with that knowledge, you can now actually know whether a particular book is a nice one to go into. Maybe based on writing, maybe you want to write about a particular niche. Now, that those plugins will now help you to know whether this niche is profitable for me to go into or not and so on and so forth so um we have a, a couple of them here um hope you guys can see my screen so um we have just six is this six or five okay this is six plugins you are going to be um looking into one is the amazon bsr bsr means best seller rating and rating colorizer now we're going to be looking what all these things do when we install them so we're going to see what they do for us the amazon rank chrome extension the amz suggestion expander the bsr master the dx amazon quick view and the one of the most important which is the keyword everywhere now we're going to be installing all these things to our browser um please if you are using laptop if you are using laptop we are going to be installing this to your Chrome browser, but those using phone, um, I suggest you use the, uh, the the Kiwi browser. For those using mobile phone, especially Android users, I think you go for Kiwi browser. If you don't have Kiwi browser, you need to install Kiwi browser on your uh, on your Android phone. For those using Apple phone, please uh, stick with your Safari, stick with the Safari browser, so and that will be fine for you. Now, how do you run this extension? For those using mobile phone, please, uh, don't worry. We're going to still send a video for mobile phone users. But if you are very smart enough, it's still the same process. You can still understand it um, um, just uh, by, you know, looking at what I'm doing now on my laptop. You still get it. So, but if by any means you do not get it, please don't worry. I'm going to share a video of about how to do that on your you know your android phones or your apple phone as the case may be now how do you install this uh, extension to your browser just copy the name here now let's start with this number one amazon bsr and rating colorizer now you go to the browser where you want to install it where you go to the browser where you want to install it let's say i want to install it on this browser so I'll search for this um, extension name, Amazon BSR and Rating Colorizer. Let me look for it. Let me look it up. So you can see it here. You can see it here. Now, what do I do? I just click on this link. I click on this link. It takes me to um, a section of my browser where I need to uh, make the installation. It takes me to the section of my browser. I can see here it's asking me to add to Chrome. It's saying add what to your Chrome. So I'm going to click this to add to my Chrome. Now, if you look down here, you can see the preview, the overview of what this does for you. 
Now, just as the name implies, it says Amazon bestseller and rating colorizer. What does this does for you? It it helps you to colorize bestsellers and their ratings. You understand? So when you see a book on on a normal day, when you visit Amazon on a normal day, without this extension installed, you will not see this color coloring on it. So, but what this coloring help you to know is to see how good this book is selling. To know whether it's a good competition to go into or a good market to go into or it's happy to analyze a book and tell you whether this book is doing well based on the uh, different uh, coloring things it's going to be showing up for you and there's other things that will be coming up which doesn't show up on a normal day some of these uh, ratings uh, these are things you will not see on a normal day maybe you just visit your uh, amazon with just your uh, your normal browser without all these plugins, you will not see all these things you are seeing now. So that's why it's important to install this on your phone or your browser so that you'll be seeing things differently from a normal user coming to Amazon. So how do we do this? You just click on Add to Chrome. So it sees it's asking me to add a station to Chrome. Then I'll say Add to Chrome. So um, once I do that, it to add to my chrome you can see now it's telling me to remove this extension has been added to my chrome so if i go to this section you can see this icon here this icon is to for your extension or you can just go to these three dots here and go to extensions under more tools you can see extension you can see uh you can see the extension i just installed now you can see it Amazon BSR rating colorizer, it's already here for me. You understand? So um, the next thing is trying to install the second um, extension, which is Amazon Run Chrome extension. So let's try installing this one as well. So the same process, I just go to my browser and browse uh, the information. So this is my Amazon uh, Rank Chrome extension. Let me click on this. So just like the previous one, it's going to show me an overview. You understand? So you can read up these things. These extensions allow you to quickly see the number of items sold in each category and what your percentage and what you percent the item is in that. Okay. This extension allows you to quickly see the number of items sold in each category. So um, just like this, as you can see from here now, for each category you browse through, you can see the number of sales that that particular book have made in that category and, and so on and so forth. So that is the importance of that. That's why you can easily analyze uh, whether a particular category whether putting your book in a particular category is nice, whether the competition is wonderful or not. Remember, this is a marketplace you are coming into. So you are not the only person here. So you need to actually look at the markets, know how it is going, know uh, areas that are profitable, know areas that are very competitive you need to run away from, and some other things. So that's why we are actually uh, installing all these things so that you can help us to analyze the market properly so that we don't make mistakes or we don't go and write things that will not sell for us so the next thing we do is to add to chrome so click on what add extension so as you can see this one too has been added if you can see now we have two extensions here already you can see i've added this one too now let's go to the third one let's add this amz uh, suggestion expander amz suggestion expander this is also a nice tool that you need okay i'll still show you what it does um let's install it first so let me just click on this and add to chrome add to chrome okay let's look at the overview now Chrome extension. Okay, okay. Let's look at for blah 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 blah. Okay, let's check what it does. Um, now, uh, 
I want us to do a little experiment so that we can actually see what this um, AMZ suggestion expander does for us. Now, I want to use two browsers. Now, one of the browser is Chrome and the other one is going to be uh, just normal Firefox. Now, look at this. Let me go to Amazon.com. 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 Now, this is the browser where I installed my extension. So I'm visiting Amazon.com in this browser. Now, let me go to my Chrome. I mean, my Firefox. Sorry for that. Let me visit my Firefox. Now, in this Firefox, um, I don't have this extension installed there. So I want us to perform an experiment so that we see uh, the effect of that um, AMZ suggestion expander. You see what it does for us. Now, I want to browse how to invest in Bitcoin. I'm looking up for how to. Now, see what is happening now. This is my suggestion. I, I typed how to. Now, it's giving me a suggestion how to win friends and influence people, how to draw, uh, draw from Git. Okay, how to draw for Git, how to meet your your Nico, whatever, how to meet yourself, how to draw, blah, blah, blah. These are, are the suggestions I'm getting. Now, if you look at this scene, I'm just having a one um, one page suggestion um, area. Um, but let's go to the browser where we have this AMZ as, uh, suggestion expander is. Let's see what happens. Let's go to this browser. Now, just like I, I typed before, I want to type how to. Let me type how to. Let me type how to. Now look at look at what's gonna happen now. You see what happened? You see what happened? I have multiple suggestions. I have multiple suggestions. Now I can see different uh, uh, sections of the suggestion. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five suggestions area. Now this is what this AMZ suggestion expander does for you. It gives you a wider suggestion based on your search. So maybe you are trying to write a book on how to do something to give you a, a better suggestion of uh, so, some things people are looking up in Amazon that you can write about. You can see how to win a friend, how to do this. All these things are here then. It can give you a suggestion based on your search. So you can even go further to search more and narrow down your, your search results as the case may be. I'm searching now how to, it's giving me already how to invest, how to influence, how to invest in real estate, how to invest 50 to 5,000, how to invest everything, how to inhabit time, blah, blah, blah. So these are all the suggestions it's giving me because I'm using the AMZ as a suggestion expander. So I'm getting a wider suggestion area. Unlike my, uh, unlike my fire force, which is just giving me just one area of suggestion. So I believe with this, you understand the difference between uh, the AMZ when your browser is have this thing and when it doesn't have it. Okay. Now let's install the third. Uh, the, is it the fourth one? Now this one is BSR Master, Bestseller Master. Okay, let's install it again. So just like before, we're going to browse this bestseller master. So you can see it here. Let's click on this and install it to the browser. So I'm going to click on add to Chrome, add to clone, add extension. So um, now, what this bestseller does for us is just help you to identify your bestseller, and you know, you you get to know who are the bestseller, whatever what they do differently, and all that. So um, it's very important all these things are installed on your browser 
so that you will know what is going on. So you can actually look up the overview readout to see what they have here. Uh, BSR, BSR rate find, finder to Kindle, paperback, audio, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, relative calculator, BSR, Kindle. So you can just read up these things and understand what it's doing for you. So this just helps you to know who the best seller, how much they are making from their books and all those things. I'm still going to show you the uh, bestseller calculator when we go to Amazon. Um, this will help you. With this bestseller master, you can be able to see the, uh, the bestseller rating of a particular book. Then you can actually look up how much um, the person is making uh, per month, per day from that book and so on and so forth. So it's really, really uh, important to have all these things. So let's install the, the fifth one. This one is DX Amazon uh, Quick View. Let's look at this. Now, this helps you to look up things just like the name implies. Be able to see things. Uh, let's, let's just click on the overview so that you can get to see that. Well, first of all, let me install it. Um, okay. So you can just read up the overview and see what it does. Then you can see, um, you can see down here, this is how it appears on Amazon. This is how it appears on Amazon. You can be able to see um, a lot of information about a book, which you cannot see on a normal day. It helps you to know the category what the best, that particular book is, what the rate uh, the book is based on the category, based on the ranking. It gives you a lot of information. It tells you what category a book is under. You know, those things are very important. It will help you to know that this is why this book is selling because this book is under this particular category. So you can be able to analyze all these things and also find a way to put your book in such categories so that you know that you can also make sales as a case may be now um let's just install this add this to our chrome let's add this now let's do a little bit experiment uh, on this okay it has been added i want to look up a book how to invest in bitcoin hmm. now i want to look up this how book under how to invest in bitcoin i also want to go to my firefox and do the same how to invest in bitcoin okay let's wait for this to come up So these are books under how to invest in Bitcoin and so on and so forth. Uh, let me just narrow this down to books. Let me narrow this search down to books. So let me do the same here. Okay, here is already good. Now um, look at what is going on here. Look at what is going on here now now this is just my normal browser you can see how it just arranged my book this is how a normal user when you just come on amazon this is what you'll be seeing as a normal user coming to uh, visit amazon this is what you just be seeing now let's go to um somebody who installed this plugin you see that there's a different uh, feeling there's a different thing the person will be seeing now let's go there now you can see this book is one one you see, the, 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 it's taking a lot of space because there's a lot of information it's going to be showing to you. You can see now, it's showing the, the rating of this person. Now, when I, when I hover on this book, you can see information is displaying for me. It's displaying information for me. You can see this, showing me that uh, these are the information about this book. This book is one, 212 pages. It's written in English. Uh, this book, this is dimension. This is the bestseller uh, rank of this book. This book is ranked 
119,431. So this book is actually selling very well to, to be on this rank. It's also telling me that this book is in three categories. It's inside digital currencies, inside investment analysis and a strategy. It's also inside introduction to investment. It's also telling me what this book is rating on each of these uh, categories is number 68 at this category category is number 160 in this category category is also number 411 in this category it's also telling me the rating like people are rating this book that over 300 and that one people have rated this book and so on and so forth now these are all the informations you will not see on a regular day when you visit um Amazon using a browser without this extension. Now let's go to back to our Firefox. You can see these informations are not here. I can't see the bestseller rating. There's nothing like bestseller rating here. If I hover on this book, I don't get a, a, a information. There's nothing to see. You understand? I can only see what the reviews people are giving this book. But every other information are hidden because I cannot see it because this browser doesn't have all the necessary extensions for me to see that. Now you can see the disadvantage and advantage of having um, these extensions installed in your world browser. So you can be able to make better analysis. Now, if I really want to know how much this book is making per day or per month, I can actually come here. Let's say uh, I want to check out how much this person is actually making. I'll just copy the bestseller rating. I'll look for um, BSR calculator. Now let's go to Google and search for BSR calculator. Now under this uh, tckpublishing.com, tckpublishing.com, they give you, they offer you a, a calculator that you can use to check um, how somebody is making, what the person is making, like based on sales so let's look this up let's look this up and see what we can see from there now let's go scroll down this is your uh, tckpublishing.com now this is the uh, bestseller uh, calculator now it will ask to put the bestseller rank here now what is the bestseller rank the bestseller rank is this rank here whatever you see here is the bestseller rank of this book now this book is ranked uh, 62,563. That's the bestseller rank of this book. So let's look it up and see um, what this book is actually uh, making in a day. So just remove this comma, just put digit, only digit. That's 62,563. Now you can leave it under ebook. Then you can click on calculate. Now, um, this is telling you that this book, the this book. It's telling you that this book is making an average of four sales in a day. This book is making an average of what? Four sales in a day. This book is making an average of 46, I mean 60 sales in a day. Now let's uh, let's go back to the pricing. Let's see how much this book is worth. Now this book is priced $12. Now somebody who has calculator can punch it $12, okay, $12.99 times by 60 or times by 4. Now that's what this guy is making in a day. Let me just bring out the calculator. Let's check this. Let me bring out my calculator. Now this book is um, is sold at $12.99. $12.99 per book. Okay, let's, uh, let me check it out. Now, this is $12.99 times by 60. Now, this person is making $779 every month. Now, for a day, that's $4. That's 4 times 12.99. So, at this person is making an average of $51 per day for only this book now this person might have more than a hundred book more than you know one thousand book as the case may be and imagine you making such amount of book that's why 
Sometimes you see people telling you that they make up to thousand dollar in a day. Don't doubt it. It's possible because if if you have like um let's say if you have like three books, four books that are bestseller, trust me, you can be making up to a thousand in a day if you have most of your books as bestsellers. Now imagine how many rates in this book have. This is twelve uh, two thousand one hundred and four something reviews. That means people are buying this book. And this book is published in 2021, April 2021, and it already have uh, 2,000 something reviews. So that means out of, and it's not everybody that actually reviewed the book. That means for 2,145 people to review this book, that means more than 3,000 people must have bought this book. You understand? So um, that is very huge. So if you calculate that, like, based on the number of people that uh, must have bought this book, like let's assume that um, 3,000 people have bought this book. Now let's say 3,000 times by 12.99. So this, this person has made over $38,000 from this book. That's some millions of Naira we are talking about. So it's really, really crazy. So that's so you can actually make a proper analysis about this book know which book is selling you can actually actually write a book based on you know you can see that a book is profitable you can actually make the book based on the title and try to write something under the book and you can actually make sales as well but all those things we are going to go into them and we're going to still teach you how to pick titles for your books and all that information will be shared across to you guys okay let's install the last one the last one is keyword everywhere now this keyword everywhere is uh, one of the important tools you don't need to play with when it comes to uh, this business keyword everywhere is what you use to find keyword it's what you use to find titles even uh, if you want to write a book this keyword everybody tells you whether this book is good to write. Now, I see on a normal day, um, let's just install this before we can actually see what we are talking about. Okay. Please, you can always read the overview. Click on the overview, read it, or watch the video. They explain uh, more things about If you are an so, expert, you can see this thing. Just Go through the videos, they give you more in depth uh, to find uh, long tail keywords. You know, keyword that will show you some additional you long tail keywords. So, this is an so excellent tool this. to help you do very extensive keyword research. Very So um, keyword everywhere is very, 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 very important. I'll still show you once this, this instruction is done, I'm going to show you how you can actually use it for. So uh, let's allow it to finish installing. It's still taking a little bit time to install. Uh, why are you taking time? Why are you taking time? Okay, I think we are, it has been installed. Good. Okay. Um, so let's go to extensions. You can see your keyword everywhere. So this is your keyword everywhere. Let's click on the details. So this is your keyword everywhere. Uh, you might want to allow... Okay. So this place says allow this extension to read and ch change all your data on website you visit. So please leave it on all. Um, if you are using a private browser, if you want your browser to be private while browsing the internet, you can want to check this thing. 
but I want to check it. Allow access to file URL, you can check it as well if you want. So you can actually check these two things. That's if you are going to be using uh, incognito. Incognito means you are trying to use a private browser. Maybe you don't want people to uh, get your IP or know where you are coming from or you're browsing from. You can actually own that. So if you are going to be going public with your information, no need for that. So just or just try to own it, no problem. And that's it. So now um, I want us to make do some experiments how keyword everywhere works. Now I want to go to let me just go to Google. Um, this keyword everywhere with the keyword everywhere, it works on almost all websites. What it does, it helps you to analyze. Now let's look at maybe I want to write about um, parenting. Okay, let me say parenting tips. Okay, and let me search. Let's check what keyword everywhere will do for us. Now you can see what keyword everywhere is doing here. Now look at this section of your browser. This side is what the keyword everywhere does for you. Now the keyword everywhere tells you the trend. Whether this topic you want to write about, whether it's trending. Whether this topic people are looking it looking up for it you can see the trend was more high in 2004 in 2021 it was also not high also in 2022 around august it was high but in november you can see the trend is down a little bit but this still this tells you that this keyword is still good to write about maybe you want to write about parenting tips maybe you can actually use this to analyze whether people are searching for this information. Now, this will not give you a tip to know that, hey, this keyword you want to write about is good. You understand? Now, you don't need to also base all your judgment from Google because Google is a very um, general area. You might want, to, maybe after coming to Google, to look up this uh, thing and you see that keyword everywhere is telling you that people are actually looking for this topic you want to write about. You might still want to go to Google to, be con to confirm that indeed people are actually looking it up. So you might go to Google and still search this topic, parenting tips. You understand? So um, let's search for this topic, parenting tips. Now, you can see in Google, this keyword is good, but the competition is very high. This keyword is what good, but the competition is very high. Okay, let's just limit our search to books. Let's see what the competition will look like when it is only books we're searching for. Still under books, the competition is still high. You can see 2,000 uh, search results. Now, this 2,000 is telling you that this book is good. People are looking for it, but the competition is high. Now, for you to uh, write a, for a book that the competition is too high it's not too high it should be below 1000 when your search result is below 1000 then you can know that hey this book is good to write this topic is good to you to write about that's why we say do not base your judgment from google google might tell you this competition is very high it's very good to write about but you still need to come to uh, amazon to search for that topic now when you search for it you now look up the search result you are seeing here once the, the search result is above 1000 please don't write for that topic again the competition is too much now what you need to do is uh, as a smart person you might want to um add some stuff to this thing so that it it might look different so you can be able to write on it now now someone might want to come and say parenting tips for beginners or uh, for young parents or for young mothers or for young now this is something somebody might want to do you can see now uh, parenting tips for young mothers is giving you a search result of what 183 
it's giving you a search result of what 183 now you can see this is good for you to write about now you can see the best seller under this thing this one is saying right raising good humans you can see this book is selling crazily this is massive raising what good human and this book was written in 2019 you understand so this this particular topic now is very good for you to write you can see the competition is quite okay so you can easily go into this market because there's no much competition because the search volume is what less than what 1000 so this is how you you can be able to what um know which particular title is good for you to write about or not you understand so possibly by coming to this search bar and searching for that particular topic as the case may be we are also going to be giving you tips on the niches you can be writing about you can be writing about biographies you can be writing about relationship you can write about finance investment and the rest of them all these are uh, categories or niches you can write about then under those niches is now left for you to now know how to come out about titles it's now left for you to know that hey on that relationship i want to write about um maybe sex you want to write about how to build a strong relationship you want to write about you know how to make your wife happy or whatever you want to write about is left for you to you know figure it out sometimes you can actually come uh, to amazon and just search for relationship and look at the title relationship books you can actually look at what people are writing on that relationship books you can actually borrow from their type this one says stop overthinking your relationship this is a title topic this one says love more fight less this is a topic uh rebuilding trust these are topics you understand healthy relationship these are all topics so stop overthinking and mindful relationship habit so all these things are this one is communication communicate your feelings without starting a fight you understand the mastery of love all these are titles that you can find on that relationship book then this can now start giving you insight on Hey, how do I narrow down my my topic? How do I narrow down my topic? And please remember again, before you will want to write about anything, make sure you search for it on Amazon. Also, make sure that there's a market for it. Don't go and write about something that there's no market for. Okay, imagine like somebody trying to write about, um, let's say you want to write about a biography and you look for a biography to write of let's say of all Yunnan. let's say who's who um let's um okay let's say now this james brown brown i think most of you know who's James brown now now probably now let's assume now you want to write about james brown now you know he's a nigerian uh comedian blah 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 Maybe there's a lot of people don't know about him. Maybe his trend is just basically here in Nigeria or thereabouts. I don't know how popular he's outside the country. Now, imagine you trying to write about him now. You understand? If you write about him now, you might not be making sales because people will not be looking for him because people are not searching for him. People are not looking out for him. People are not looking to know about him on the market. So you don't write about things people don't know. You write about things that people are looking for. That is why all these tools are important for you. So that I can actually know, uh, make a, a proper research and know whether people are actually looking out for what you are trying to write about. You understand? Before you now think of writing about it. You understand? So any topic you want to write about, the first thing you need to do is to come to Google to search whether people are looking, it, looking out for. Okay, let's say I want to write about how to invest in binance so i may search this that's spell this incorrectly this is how to spell binance now you can see that uh, there's only three results under how to invest in binance 
Now, a lot of people are not writing about this, but it's still a good niche to write about. How to invest in Binance. Let's look. Uh, let me check whether I spell this Binance correctly. Okay. Now you can see. Uh, let's check what Google has for us. Let's check the competition in Google. How to invest in Binance? So you can see the search result was very high in 2004. Uh, in 2020 is October, November is a little bit down, but not too bad. You can see right about it. Where to invest in Binance today? Minimal amount to invest in Binance. Binance Auto Investment. These are projections of keyword people are looking for. Binance Investment Fund. Okay. So all these things are suggestion people they are getting Binance Auto Investment, where to invest in Binance. These are what people are looking up in Google. So you might want to also go to uh, Amazon to just type Binance and see if people are looking up anything about Binance. So there's no much books on Binance. Let's check very well. Okay, there are this one is. 333. So these are books under Binance. This one says how to trade cryptocurrency on Binance feature. Okay, this one just say Binance. Uh, ultimate manual for crypto, blah blah blah. Okay. Cryptocurrency trading made easy with Binance. Okay, so all these are books you can find under Binance. So this can now give you an insight of, hey, what am I going to write about? You can now pick idea from here and now know what to write. Okay, this book is belong to one of our students. I think this guy is in um, group seven. I think he's, he's owner of this book. And his book is hardcover is $35, $18. Wow, this guy is very, very mean. So you can see this book, Binance Trading for Beginners. So this book, I think this book sold today. He's, he sent a screenshot of this book. So um, let's check it out and see the search result for this book. So this book is um, 24. So this is, good, this is a title that is good for writing. You can write on this title and so on and so forth. So this is how you'll be getting insights about books you're going to write about. You can go a particular niche, you know, check up what people are writing about. From their titles, you can actually come up with your, for your, with your own title and, you know, want to do something a little bit different from what they have done or actually improve on what they have done and as the case may be. So you can see that. Now, another good thing about um, um, Kindle. Kindle allow you to look into a book. Kindle allow you to look into what? A book. Let's say I want to write about uh, this Binance trading now. I might look at all the books under this scene and see what those people are writing and why their book are selling. Okay, let's say I want to look into this book now. I can just click on this book. Let's let's see. So I want to look into this book and see um, probably maybe the, the, the table of content of this book and see what it's called. You can see here, Amazon is telling you look inside. You understand? So these are what these browse, these uh, plugins help you to do. You can be able to look inside this book now and know what this person actually wrote. You can borrow from his ideas and you know write your own books and create your own table of content as the case may be. Uh, let's let's look at what this guy has in this book. 
Ah, uh, it's not opening. Let me refresh. Okay, let's look into this book and see what we can find here. Oh, this is taking time. Load, load, load. Okay. Now look at this table of content of this person. This guy started with introduction chapter one. That's chapter one. He said what is trading, what is investment, what is fundamental analysis, what's the difference between trading and investment, um, which which is superior technical analysis or fundamental analysis what drive the financial market what is um, a market trend what is a market cycle you know this is the the chapter one of this person this is chapter two financial market and trading instruction you understand so um this is what this person have this person have how many chapter uh five chapters and so on and so forth this guy has a lot of information in this book so this book is very, very voluminous, as you can see. So you have a lot of information. What is the long position? What is shortening? What is other book? What is the other book depth? Wow, this guy really take time to write the book. So as you can see, this is the information contained in this book, as the case may be. So you as a as a as a as a writer can actually look at this know what this person have in this book then this cannot give you an insight of how this is what i'm supposed to do oh, this person has this inside his book i need to put it in my own book and uh, this is the reason why people are buying this book because it has information that are very rich and so on and so forth so people might want to also buy your book because of that okay so that's that for that okay so basically uh this is how to look up for um you know titles look up for competition look up for books and so on and so forth know what your competitors are doing you know any book you see here you can actually click on it look inside the book know what is contained in the book now, uh, maybe in our next class, when we try to talk about creating table of contents, uh, we're going to also look into this again. That's how we're going to find topics. We're going to teach you how to look for topics. And um, basically, today we are going to be just talking about installation of this, even though we are going more in depth. But in our next class, we're going to be looking into all these things: how to pick titles, you know, how to look up um, competition, know what your competitors are doing you know know how you're going to you know compete with them favorably and all those things so all these things are what we're going to be looking up in our next class so um this is basically just for installing of what uh plugins and how they work so i uh, i believe with this you can be able to see the difference between a normal browser and uh, the browser that has all these uh, extensions installed in them and so on and so forth. Okay. So, um, do anybody have a question for me? Any questions on plugin installation? Any questions? Yes, I have a question. Good evening. Good evening. What's your question? Good evening. All right. Okay. You said that uh, those using Android phone should should download from here, please. I didn't get it. Kiwi. Kiwi browser. Oh, please. 
Okay, don't worry, don't worry about that. We're gonna share okay. we're gonna share okay. information about Thanks. that on the WhatsApp group. Any other questions?